When you think of one of the worst vehicles in Mario Kart Wii, a good vehicle that may come up to mind first is the Jet Setter. In a regular Mario Kart Wii setting, the Jet Setter has one of the worst drifts in the game, but that's usually because it has a very high speed stat. In fact, I want to say it has the highest speed stat in the game, which makes sense because it's a jet, it's a, it's a freaking jet, okay? However, I accidentally made the Jet Setter not good. It's not good at all, it's still like kind of bad, but it's way better than it would be otherwise, especially with the mod of Retro Rewind. So how did this happen? Well, Retro Rewind is a Mario Kart mod that features every track from Super Mario Kart to Mario Kart 7, as well as some tracks sprinkled in from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour. But with this mod, I did some added settings to the game. Some settings include impossible CPUs or cart restrictions and friend rooms and all that fun stuff. However, there are some settings that you can see in action right now. Yes, I'm on Inside Drift. The transmission switch is a big setting in Retro Rewind. Basically, it determines if you want to go regular Mario Kart Wii drifting, or if you want to do everything inside, everything outside, or just have the bikes be able to drift inside but keep carts outside, which a lot of people do like. And as you can tell, I am on all inside because I'm on a cart and it's inside draft math. But why is the jet set a good? I mean, just translating it from inside or outside to inside would make it just naturally Yes, it'll, it'll be fast, but it won't drift well at all. Because outside drift requires less of a drift to go tight, it's really bad on inside drift. Outside drift vehicles that are put to inside drift do not translate well at all. They'll turn way wider than they should, especially on vehicles such as the Jet Setter. However, to help balance inside drift carts, I did two big changes. One of them has to do with the drift set we just talked about. What I did is I turned the inside drift option for the carts. I made their drift 10% tighter. It kind of evens out everything. And now if you look at it, the drifting is about as tight as a spear if you're not in a boost. Obviously, if you're in a boost, it'll be a little wider because, you know, you're going faster. Why not drifting tighter? Kind of makes sense. However, that's not all because all carts in Retro Rewind, no matter the setting you're on, has an Ultra Mini Turbo, aka the Purple Mini Turbo that you kind of can see throughout the video if you pay attention enough, of course. I'll try and get an example in a second. Right here, you get a Purple Mini Turbo boost and you go a little faster. If you're on Outside Drift, you go 10% faster than a regular boost, but it doesn't last as long. However, the difference between that and Inside Drift Purple Mini Turbos is not only are Mini Turbos a little longer, I would say a Blue Mini Turbo is 20 frames longer for each vehicle than the ones on Outside Drift. But, uh, this is important as well, you go slower in a Purple Mini Turbo than you would on an Outside Drift Purple Mini Turbo. So instead of going 10% faster than your regular Mini Turbo, I'm only going 2.5% faster. It's a fourth of the speed and or a, four, a fourth of the buff. Okay. Well, it may not seem like a big deal. I'm only if you go 100 kmh in boost, I'm only going 2 kmh faster. That is not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Because if you're going on a boost and outside drift, you're going 10 kilometers faster. That is incredibly fast. That is a lot faster than you would think. With all that in mind, it's yeah. The, I ever since the last update where drifting wasn't as tight but the mini turbos were still five percent on inside drift sometimes vehicles like the mini beast would be absolutely broken and on top of all that it was 30 frames faster for a blue mini turbo which means orange mini turbos were 90 frames faster or longer which is a second and a half so you can only imagine it's got to be like two two and a half seconds for purple mini turbos however since i nerfed all those edits the good carts have been nerfed a bit that makes sense they're pretty even with the outside drift counterparts however the bad vehicles really got a buff from this so of course the drift stat is going to be a big difference and since the drift is so bad you almost don't want to go for a long mini turbo because i can't brake drift in a mini turbo yes retro rewind also has brake drifting on 150 cc not a lot if you do something like this 
you'll just stop entirely, but you have to be... It's still break driven, you can still make it work. It's really useful in some very specific scenarios. However, you cannot break drift in a boost. So with all of this in mind, the Jet Setter is not half bad. I would say it's about the C tier, maybe D tier. It's going to be very similar to a Spear in Retro Rewind. By the way, if you guys want to see a tier list for all inside drift vehicles, Feel free to comment down below, I will gladly do one, I need a video anyways. But like you guys saw the last two races, I am like holding my own against Flame Runners. This is a good track to showcase it on as well, because again, this would definitely be a spear track in any other pack. But Jet Setter does really good stuff here, which is something that I never expected to say. When I was making this update, I think the last thing I expected to say was, damn, this Jet Setter update is cracked. No, I was expecting to say carts would be a low nerf, but instead, I accidentally buffed the Jet Setter. The only reason I got fit third here is because, yes, I was in a bullet, but even then, I was in third, second, around those placements up until the shock happened. I'm just saying, maybe the Jet Setter is kind of starting to get cracked. Also, it might be worth mentioning that the Jet Setter also has a medium and small vehicle counterpart, um, the medium being the Sprinter, and to a lesser extent, the small one being the freaking blue falcon, or as I like to call it, whatever color falcon it is on the character, because it's not always blue, ha. Huh? So theoretically, those vehicles should also be buffed, which maybe I'll try do videos trying the rest of the vehicles and see what cards are decent on Inside Drift and what vehicles are not. But I do want you all to keep in mind, I don't want the cards to be the best vehicles in the game still. In fact, I want Flame Runner to still be the top of the top. See, Retro Rewind isn't a rebalance mod, it is nowhere near that, it just kind of happened to have some features to help more casual fans get into the game. But the thing is, Retro Rewind at the end of the day is a retro custom track pack. It's not a rebalance, it's not feature feature the pack. So at the end of the day, as cool of edits I can do, I still want Flame Runner to be the top of the top. However, I think it's way more fair to have everything else be at least closer in comparison. That's why purple mini turbos exist, that's why other mods like Inside Drift exist. Heck, it, it, Inside Drift alone helps some vehicles like the Shooting Star shine a lot more. But, you know, hey, this was a fun video I like doing. Um, I just wanted to do a video on the Jet Star. I love how this came out and I hope you guys subscribe. Yeah. That's a really poor race to end on, but you know what? We'll take it. Peace out, gamers.